Today we're going to be talking about a new deflator from Apex Designs called the Rapid Response Valve. This thing deflates really fast, but we're going to check it out and see how fast it really airs down a tire. We're working with a Mickey Thompson Baja Boss. It's a 40 inch by 1350 on a 17 inch Raceline beadlock wheel. We're going to see how fast we can go from 27 PSI down to our desired trail PSI of 7. Let's check it out, so stay tuned. First we're going to remove the valve cap. It's important to use this valve cap because it locks the lever that operates the deflator. So we're going to hook up the gauge. Uh, we use a power tank gauge for inflating. The nice thing about this setup is you can use the, the same gauge to inflate and deflate the tire. So we're at 26.3. It's a little cold today, so the pressure has dropped slightly from the 27 we set these at when it was out when the tires were a little bit warmer. So we're going to uh, see how fast we can get down to 7 psi, and uh, should be interesting. We're going to flip the back. Watching the gauge to make sure we get down to the right pressure. And there we are at seven. When we're done, we just disconnect. Put the valve cap back on and we're good to go for one tire and at 30 seconds to air down these big 40 inch tires that means we can air down all four in about two minutes plus time to move around the vehicle and hook up the tire gauge and uh, unscrew the valve cap and put it back on we're looking at maybe a total of three to three and a half minutes to air down 40 inch tires from 27 roughly down to 7 psi pretty fast Airing down tires can be a time-consuming pain in the butt. This obviously makes it a whole lot easier uh, and way faster, which is really, really nice. But then the flip side of that is we've got to air the tires back up. The uh, ports on this valve uh, do not work airing up. You have to go through the Schrader valve that you plug your uh, pressure gauge into. And like I said earlier, that's a big advantage because you're using the same gauge you air down with. So we're going to hook up our power tank and see how long it takes us to go back up to 27 PSI. So here we go. Now obviously it's going to take a little longer because we don't have the same ports letting air in as we did letting air out. So we're at 20 seconds and we're at 16 PSI already. Uh, that's just about halfway there. Thirty seconds we're at 19.2. Forty-five seconds we're at 23.9. And it's 60, uh, under 60 seconds, 57 seconds, we're at 27.2 PSI. Not bad. Again, doing all four tires, it take four minutes plus time to 
get your tank out, hook up the gauge, uh, and unscrew and screw back the uh, valve cap. Or maybe looking at between five and five and a half minutes to air down, air up a 40 inch tire, 20 psi, and this is a big tire. The uh, Mickey Thompson Baja Boss is a 40 by 13.5 on a 17 inch rim. So there's a lot of volume of air in here. So this is very impressive. When you install the valve, it actually goes through the existing valve stem hole. The Apex deflator has its own valve cap. And you want to use that because that's what keeps the valve locked into place. And the valve slides up and down, up to release air. You can see the holes, the ports here push down to close it and when you screw the cap back on that actually locks the valve in place so it can't get bumped out on the trail and cause a rapid loss of air. So the other end of this basically has four parts. There are two nuts and a mount for the TPMS sensor. So we're going to take this apart so you can see what it looks like. TPMS sensor actually has a, a threaded section that you attach the, the sensor to. The two nuts lock everything into place. And there's also a spacer. Spacer helps seal the threaded portion of the deflator onto the wheel. And if you need more clearance, you can put this on. It comes with the, uh, the narrower section butting against the valve body. You can take it off, flip it around if you need more clearance in the wheel. Um, if you don't need to use the TPMS sensor, you can, you can eliminate this part. And um, when you tighten these down, the torque spec is 25 to 45 inch pounds of torque, not foot pounds, but inch pounds, which is a pretty light load. Keep in mind that an inch pound is one twelfth of a foot pound. So that's roughly three, three foot pounds of torque for these. It's not very much. So you're going to uh, snug them down, but not get them real tight. Okay, we're using a wheel that the tire has uh, not been mounted on, which makes installation a lot easier. It can be done with a tire in place. If you have a beadlock, you can remove the beadlock ring, compress the tire, which is what we're going to be doing later, <clears throat> or uh, you can dismount the tire partially uh, so you have room to actually get in there to uh, insert and uh, place the nuts in. So this... Uh, Jesse Spade wheel from Rugged Ridge has a nice protector uh, for the valve stem. Although this one sticks out a little more than stock. But basically, you're just going to put this in the hole. It's going to be a little difficult. You might have to use pliers to actually uh, operate the, the valve right here with these wheels because of the protector. But that's going to help keep it safe. Some wheels will have uh, the, valve, the valve stem mounted in an area, an O-ring between the red body and the threaded section below it. Uh, put a little oil on that just to make sure it stays supple and seals better before you install the valve into the wheel. When you mount when you mount the uh, <clears throat> when you mount the apex deflator uh, you're going to put a little red or blue Loctite on the threads. You're going to put the first first nut on the threaded section through the rim and then tighten that down. Uh, you can use a half inch wrench or half inch ratchet. Snug it down to roughly 35 inch pounds of torque. And if you're going to use the TPMS sensor that would go on next. And we barely have enough room for the threads here, so we would probably want to flip that. Uh, if we use a TPMS sensor, we would want to flip that spacer. And you're going to put the second nut on. Torque that down. Get it snug. You can use a half-inch ratchet. 
make sure to uh, hold the other side. It's very easy to install when you uh, when you have the no tire on the rim. So that's it for the installation.